Pig's Christmas present. It is the night before Christmas at Peppa's house. Pepper and George are asleep. Mummy and Daddy are asleep. Granny and Grandpa are here too, and they're asleep. Who is that? Ho, ho, ho! It is Father Christmas. My last delivery! Oh, why do they have to make chimneys so small? Oof. Father Christmas is putting presents around the Christmas tree. It is very early in the morning. Come on, George! Mummy, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, wake up! It's Christmas! Christmas! Oh, oh. What? Already? <laughs> I suppose it's just about daytime. Pepper and George are excited it's Christmas. <gasps> Everybody is excited it's Christmas. Look! Father Christmas has brought presents! <laughs> George has a toy boat. Boat, boat! Pepper has a rocket. Zoom, zoom! It says Grandpa Pig. Open it, Grandpa. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that's just what I wanted. It's a drone. I don't really like the word drone. I prefer to call it a quadcopter. What does it do, Grandpa? What's this? The drone can fly. Ooh. And I can see what it is seeing on the controller. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! It's like a busy bumblebee! Buzz, buzz! <laughs> and how long does the battery last? I don't know. But when the battery runs low, it flies home all by itself. That's clever. At the moment, it thinks home is the North Pole. Because that's where Father Christmas lives. Exactly. Perhaps you should change the home setting before you play with it, Grandpa. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, Granny Pig. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It means the battery is running low. Here it comes! Yes, all the way home. Hooray! And home is <coughs> the North Pole. Ah, yes. Perhaps I should have changed that. The drone is flying all the way to the North Pole. Oh, what are you doing back here? Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Don't be sad about losing your present, Grandpa. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! At our front door! Yes, I decided not to use the chimney this time. I had this large present to deliver again. <laughs> My quadcopter! Grandpa Pig loves his drone. Everyone loves <laughs> drones. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Santa's visit! It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <laughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Eh? What? 
It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny! Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> 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 This Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, birdseed. Birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our Chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> George's new dinosaur. <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> At night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. Poor George. 
You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr. Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr. Fox's shop. Mr. Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Dino Roar, Roar has woken me up! Dino Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. <laughs> oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh! Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh! I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> dinosaur! Dinosaur! Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. The toy cupboard. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations! Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody! <laughs> it is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. 
What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <laughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> The instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Pepper and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo. 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 Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink 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 oink. And the piggies on the train go oink 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? 
Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left... We can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me. And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, Buff. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> Horsey Twinkle Toes. Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. Dinosaur. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side. And this is my side. <laughs> Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <laughs> hmm, I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter too. Dear Pepper and George. Here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with Horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not Horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. 
I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. <laughs> Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho! I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go, go. Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey. George, she's called Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. <laughs> I know. Because the present is for both of us, We'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. Our pig's computer. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo. But it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh. I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, 
Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Teddy Playgroup It is home time at Peppa's Playgroup Daddy, Teddy Playgroup is coming to stay Who? Teddy Playgroup is our school mascot It's Peppa's turn to take him home He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush It's all in his suitcase I see Pepper, Daddy Pig and Teddy Playgroup have arrived home. Mummy Pig, we have a special guest staying with us tonight. Really? Who's that? Teddy Playgroup. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. What's the photo album for? We take photos of him doing exciting things. Oh. My friends have took Teddy Playgroup all over the world. London, Paris, Egypt. Oh, I say, Teddy Playgroup does have an exciting life. Um, I hope he has an exciting time with us. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes. I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop sells everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <coughs> OK, George. <coughs> Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. Where are you going? We're going to stick pictures of Teddy Playgroup on trees. Oh. Daddy, wait for me! 
Why are we sticking photos on trees, Daddy? When people see the pictures of Teddy Playgroup, they'll know he's lost and they can help us find him. Oh, this is Teddy in my bed. <laughs> this is Teddy in the kitchen. <laughs> and these are George's pictures at the supermarket. Oh, Teddy Playgroup. I know where he is. <laughs> oh, hello. Mummy, we know where Teddy Playgroup is. Yes, he's in the shopping bag with the pasta and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is showing her class Teddy Playgroup's photo album. I was worried that Teddy Playgroup wouldn't have an exciting adventure with us. Then luckily, my daddy lost him at the supermarket. <gasps> but we found him again in the shopping. Ooh. That was an exciting adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> What? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <laughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <laughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> what a cuckoo! noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo! <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. Never mind George, you can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. <coughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa, George, time to see Cuckoo. Quick, George, you can't miss Cuckoo again. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo, Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Pepper and George love playing Cuckoos. It is night time. Pepper and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo. <sighs> Pepper and George are asleep. Is it morning already? Uh, no. 
time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy, we've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit is taking the grown-ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun. Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill. Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! And to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. All change. Off we go. Stop! What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes! Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train. 
the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. Come on, car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. What a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah! That's better. The race was almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow. That was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <coughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Pepper. Ooh. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Away! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Pepper. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready, steady, go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, on George! Yeah. That's the end of lap one and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two and... George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief, chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. 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 Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. The winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Scooters! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter? 
Scooter George, <laughs> shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye-bye, Daddy! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh! Now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, but OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! <sighs> Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> the doll hospital. Peppa, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr Dinosaur, Susie has Penguin and Peppa has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak! You want to roll down the hill? OK! <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles! <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Peppa has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! yes. Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh, 
I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend, Susie. I love you a lot, Susie. Ooh, Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? <coughs> ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Pepper. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Beepsy diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> Move to music Pepper and her friends are at playgroup Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano OK It makes me think of music Right Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountaintops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? 
Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny, it reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ugh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Beep, beep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way! <laughs> Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Jumping up and down. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music. <laughs> <laughs>